Hi guys, I am Shahzad and uh, welcome to lecture number 4th. Today we are going to download the Bootstrap 5 version in our HTML file or in our projects. We have discussed about the tool or the IDE in our previous lectures. We have discussed about the PHP Storm. Because PHP Storm is the IDE we are going to use in this series. You can also use the IDE, either it's a Sublime or some other kind of IDEs. It's totally depend upon you but the mechanism is the same because we are going if you are using the ph um, sorry bootstrap 5 uh, all the classes you are going to use in that id like so sublime and php storm are the same okay now i'm going to close this one so just click on this one document and click on the download so now as you can see you can you have few options uh, if you are using the managers like uh, npm or the the composer or some other kind of manager to download the bootstrap version you can also use the package okay now if you are using the downloading or if you are downloading the css and js files or the source code you also have the choice uh, or if you are using the cdn version so bootstrap provides you the cdn out of the box for you so we are going to embed the bootstrap 5 version in your projects separately okay now I'm going to close all these fields because I'm going to start okay now uh, what I need I'm just going to open sorry so this is a F drive uh, sorry C drive in the C drive I have a ZAMP I have a HD docs so don't worry so this is a folder structure if you are not familiar with the HD docs I'm going to create the bootstrap 5 so bootstrap 5 folder and now so as you can see I have just created the bootstrap 5 folder here and now I'm going to open the bootstrap 5 folder here now I'm saying I'm going to open so this is the IDE so now fresh I'm saying bootstrap where is the B sections so HD dogs and now I'm saying bootstrap 5 so I'm saying new window. I'm going to close the old window. So this is the file. Now, how can you create your first file by using this tool? Right click. I'm saying new and this is HTML file. I'm saying the name of the file is the index. So I'm saying bootstrap five, bootstrap five. And here I'm saying h1 sorry h1 I'm saying welcome bootstrap 5 and now open this one and I'm saying extra large just click on the index button so now as you can see it's saying what freaking fun so right click inspect element as you can see console is working fine now how can you embed the word step 5 now as you can see they are saying you can also download the version compiled and minified css files compiled and minified js file i'm just going to download the php file oh sorry word step 5 version because i always uh, because I have uh, designed, I, I have created thousands of uh, lectures and also a lot of CDs in PHP and Bootstrap, uh, JavaScript, jQuery. So that's why I mostly use the PHP word. So don't worry, H see HT docs and I'm saying Bootstrap 5. So here I am going to install the package. So Bootstrap 5, so this is the package of the Bootstrap 5. Make sure this is the beta version of the bootstrap family because they are going to launch the bootstrap 5 version official in 16 june or in the june month 2021 so now i'm saying uh, that uh, they are giving you some file i'm saying open i'm going to uncompress or extract the file save so this is the bootstrap i'm going to rename this one i'm saying bootstrap bootstrap now in the bootstrap we have a css file and we also have a js file you just need to add one css and one js file so here 
as you can see we have the bootstrap okay now I'm saying I'm going to add the link it's saying style sheet and I'm saying real I'm saying style sheet and now the type is the text lord CSS now I'm saying href and I'm saying go to the bootstrap go to the bootstrap and now I'm saying go to the CSS and now I'm saying find the bootstrap.css file you can also embed the bootstrap.pen.css files here and now I'm saying go to the script I'm going to use the bootstrap.js files now I'm saying script I'm saying first of all type I'm saying text uh, JavaScript because it's a JavaScript file and now I'm saying go to the bootstrap and go to find the JS and also I'm saying find the uh, bootstrap.js files now uh, go to the file sections refresh the page and here as you can see how can you check either uh, the system is working fine or the framework is working fine as you can see your console is empty if you are using some wrong file then definitely the console give you the error so that's why we always check the console if you want to check the framework let's suppose now i'm going to add a button so i'm saying this is the button sorry button i'm saying classes now i'm saying button button dot i'm saying my button so go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see the bootstrap is now working fine because without uh, css it's working fine if you are using the css from scratch then you know the mechanism or the steps you have to create the class then you have to call that class in the css file then you have to define manually that background color red border xyz so it's fine now how can you even check that it's working or not go to the components click on the button section so they are giving you a lot of things here just copy this code and paste this code here now go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's now working fine uh, so this is the grid system if you are not familiar with the grid system don't worry we'll discuss about the grid systems and also what is the row and column in our later lectures but for now it's fine fine fresh okay now as you can see the bootstrap is working fine so this is the first way the second way to embed the bootstrap is the cdn so go to the download sections as you can see this is the CDN so you have the bootstrap.main.css file you have the bootstrap bundle.main.css file you also have the proper .main.js file and proper uh, JS file just copy these sections and I'm going to use this this I'm going to uh, comment this code here and I'm going to comment the JS files so I have commented so you can see this the framework is not working it's not providing you the classes or the styling okay now I have just copied and I am going to paste here now I'm going to refresh the page so as you can see it's working fine so you have the second option either you can download the physical file or you can use the CDN file so what are the CDN file these files available on this link okay so you, you don't need to add the extra files in your projects if you are talking about the optimizing your code if you are talking about the loading or the speeding so these are the advanced topics you don't worry about them uh, now you have to focus to learn the basics of the bootstrap okay now this is the second option so what is the third option so now as you can see they have the managers if you are using some kind of managers like composer composer is a dependency manager to download the dependencies out of the box for you let's suppose I have downloaded the composer as you can see so we have the bootstrap 5 folder in this folder we have a bootstrap framework files and we also have an index file so this is a zip file so these three things available here now 
as you can see, I have uh, CDN. If I say composer, as you can see, it's giving me the options. My version of the composer is the composer version 1.9.1, .1, the current version available 2.x. So how can you download the composer? This is not the composer class because composer is a dependency manager. If you are not familiar with the composer, so you don't need to follow this step. You can just download the hard copies of the framework or you can use the CDN. So that's enough for you. So composer. So composer 2.0.8 version while I'm recording this lecture. So I have an older version. So that's why you just need to click on the download button. Just need to click on the setup. This is the exe file because I'm using the Windows 10. So I'm a Windows user. That's why I have to download the exe file and I have to use uh, to install this one. So by downloading and by installing this software, you have just need to check by using the CMD this is a command prompt by using just type the composer. It will give you the version. Now I have uh, created the bootstrap 5 folder in the XAM htdocs folder. Now I'm saying cd XAM htdocs bootstrap 5. So dir. So now as you can see bootstrap 5. So these files are available here. Now I need to download the Bootstrap 5 by using the composer. So this is a composer. You can also install and manage Bootstrap 5, CS and JavaScript using composer. So now just click on the button or you just need to copy the code. Now paste, just hit the enter button. Wait for a few seconds because it takes time to download the files out of the box so i'm going to okay so, the, so these are the file so bootstrap so now as you can see you don't have some extra folders but now the composer or the manager is about to download some folders and keep the framework in that particular folder as you can see composer.js has been created loading composer and also installing twbs bootstrap 5.0.0 beta 1 version okay now as you can see this is a vendor file if you are downloading the compose oh, sorry downloading the bootstrap file by using the composer or some kind of manager as you can see this is a vendor file so, so your composer just created this folder and in this folder you have the tbs and in the tbs you have the folder so you have a js files as you can see these these are the js files you also have some ses files so these are the ses files so uh, this is the third options to download and uh, to embed the bootstrap files in your projects i'm not going to follow this one because this is the basic cd so that's why we are not going to uh, use this mechanism so now how can you embed your bootstrap 5 version in your project or in your file by downloading the physical file so this is a compiled css and js file if you are using the source files like uh, sas uh, or ruby css you have to download this version you can also use the examples by downloading the examples the second option you have you can just click on the this button or the copy this code by using the CDN. So you have to use the CDN. Why? Because uh, if we talk about some, okay, we will discuss about some examples in our later lectures. But in this way, you can install or you can download the Bootstrap 5 version for you. So I hope you are enjoying this series. If you think we are doing good, feel free to share our courses and also the videos. If you think we have missed something, don't forget to uh, tell us by using the comment sections in this video. Okay, so keep learning, keep watching, keep improving your skills with Shagzi. Uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you are a new person on our channel. So thank you for watching.